We're all surrounded by it. We all consume it, sometimes even without meaning to. Piece after piece, fighting for your attention and your focus. Like all the advertisements we see every day, flashing by, piercing the subconscious, news finds its way into our lives, sending us messages and affecting our choices. The question is, are there detrimental impacts on our health? What's it doing to our minds? We all know about reality TV and its easy mindless entertainment. Its negative impacts have been widely debated. But what about news, presenting tragedy after tragedy? Should we be worried about what its consumption is doing to us? And if we were to give it up, would it equal intelligence or ignorance? Do you watch the news? Uh, yes, I do watch the news most nights. I don't watch the news because 50% of the time it's depressing and the other 50% of the time it's of no relevance to New Zealand. What are your opinions on the news? It's good. It's a good way to get information because there's so much happening around the world and you won't know about all of it unless you do watch the news. Okay, I watch very little news. I mean, this morning I was listening to national radio. I listen to national radio most mornings. Mm -hmm. But if there's a tirade of bad news, Quite often I don't feel like listening to bad news, and that's what seems to be most news nowadays. Do you believe that news could be harmful to you in any way? With stuff like the war in Syria, where kids are now involved, I mean, that's really depressing, so if you were to watch it 24-7, then it might start getting harmful to you. The opinions on news and its benefits to us varies largely from person to person, and many people don't know of the negative impacts it can possibly have on our lives. As far as we can see, the reporters and the news production teams don't have evil motives to brainwash society or to make us depressed. In fact, the telling of a good news story can be seen as an art form. So, is there really need for concern? An article recently published on the Guardian News website believes so. The excerpt originally from an essay written by Rolf de Belli states that news is to the mind what sugar is to the body, easy to digest. He talks of news misleading, putting emphasis on the flashy emotional sides of stories rather than what really matters. Also about news being irrelevant, the majority of stories having no major bearing in helping our life choices. About news being toxic, the stories bringing about panic, triggering responses in the limbic system leading to a less effective immune system and chronic stress. And also of increased cognitive errors, inhibited thinking, time wasting, the killing of creativity, and he compares news to the latest drug. We decided to put this to the test with a self-proclaimed avid news reader, making him cut all news for a whole seven days. How often would you say you consume news, either through TV, newspaper, online, or other outlets? Daily, basically at least three or four times during the day, and mainly on a smartphone uh, because I can get news apps on that. What is your attitude towards the news? How would you describe its purpose? Well, I'd like to hope that it keeps you in touch with what's going on in the world around you in an accurate way and with a lot of detail. Do you believe consuming news could be harmful to you in any way? I would like to hope not, but I think probably a story can be made a bit more sensational by stretching the truth, so therefore the facts sometimes might be distorted. I think probably news for me is a bit habitual, is the reason why I engage in finding out what's going on. How do you expect this week will go for you? It's going to be very hard because I do enjoy the news. I do like knowing that I know what's going on. And sometimes it's a great way for filling in time. Sometimes I'm by myself somewhere and reading the news is always a good outlet. Time will tell with our avid news reader. In a week's time, we'll find out if he's feeling more productive, freer, and maybe even happier. In all reality, it's likely though that our candidate will feel anxious, cut off from what's happening around the world. Especially if news is like what Debelli has suggested, a drug. So, what gives news this drug-like quality? Is it really that addictive? Debelli states how as news stories develop, we want to know how they continue. With hundreds of arbitrary storylines in our heads, this craving is increasingly compelling and hard to ignore. Are we treating the news like our nightly dramas? The sensationalism can play out like a thoughtful scripted storyline. When the latest updates are right at your fingertips, it's hard not to check it when you get a free moment. 
Some would also feel a type of obligation to check up on the latest story of devastation. It becomes a part of everyday conversation. And could not watching mean not caring about the victims? It's the world we live in, and so we should all know what's happening, right? What about the types of reoccurring images we're seeing? Graphic scenes of war, murder, crime, and violence? Are we being desensitized? When it becomes the norm, it's harder to see the true underlying unnatural awfulness of it all. These images are warping our perceptions on what is and isn't normal. Perhaps our children who readily absorb information and are easily influenced could perceive crime as an everyday occurrence and that maybe it isn't so bad to commit. From these points, you can see where Debelli was coming from and saying you would be happier if you gave up the news. Let's see now how our avid newsreader went and whether cutting off the news for a week did any good for him. So, continuing on in your normal weekly schedule, the only difference being no news consumption of any kind, how do you feel your typical day changed? I was able to focus a lot more on the work that I was actually supposed to be doing and um, during my downtime, rather than surfing for news stories, I was more focused on taking care of work-related issues. Do you think you became more positive and happy in mood as a result of the detox? Difficult to say. I think the answer to that would depend on what sort of news I was missing out on. I, I would, yeah, I'd have to try it for longer to define that. Having had this experience, would you be more comfortable going without news more often? I would probably be thoughtful as to the nature of the news I was getting myself into. I would be certainly looking to um, look for more of the positive than the negative. It's up to every individual to s filter out the good and the bad of news. The individual should be able to work that out. As you can see, in seven days our avid newsreader already began to feel some of the benefits that going without news can bring about. He mentioned that more time would be needed though in order to notice improvements in overall mood, creativity and deeper thinking like Debelli speaks of in his article. Maybe giving up news completely in this day and age is illogical or impossible you could say. Or perhaps trying to give up news could be the best decision you could make for your mental health. It's not the medium nor the basic intentions of news that is doing us harm. It's the type of stories that we are consuming, and how much we are consuming them. So, when the power is in your hands, will you switch off?